Hey guys, Phil Jew here. Uh, after the last video, made some progress on the car. Uh, took me two or three days of piecemealing a lot of this stuff, but rusty bolts on test pipes or high flow cats, forget what, it was high flow cats. Anyways, that I haven't touched in like four years, three years. And at the time I was driving the car uh, during the winter and made some more progress i'll show you guys around first and foremost we got the hood off <clears throat> excuse me got the hood off bumper off crash bar off uh, associated trim and splitter mounts uh, there's the strut bar but over here is the pile of junk right now i wouldn't say junk but um got the oil cooler we have the power steering cooler right behind it like right tucked in right there Radiator Sport, a lot of exhaust with New York mud from Watkins Glen a year ago. My radiator's there, and my drive shaft is right here. So we got all the exhaust off from up to the headers. The headers are going to stay in when I take this thing out, because uh, it's just hard to get in there. But yeah, this is the first time I've ever done this. Uh, pretty fun interesting experience um every bolt has come out pretty nicely i did have some well it's not here anymore but for my splitter mounts there was like a 10 mil that had rusted and both sides have cracked but everything else is going as planned um honestly the hardest part to take off was the uh test pipes because the headers are like right there and right underneath is it's still like in that little crevice where three bolts are on each side and biggest pain in my butt back in the past and now so doing some tear down um i've noticed when we were doing the engine oil it's a built a bit milky and i don't know it's kind of like a grayish, like a graphite-ish kind of color. I think that's like head gasket. Um, so we're going to look into that, but my coolant was pretty fine. Uh, perfectly green, clear, no milkiness in that either. So could be just oil seeping into the... Um, Coolant pass, not sorry, coolant going into the oil passages, but I'm also still concerned about the low compression in cylinder five. When I did a leak down test, I was hearing it come through uh, the crankcase and not through uh, any of the coolant. Um, so I'm still thinking there might be like multiple issues. Uh, it could be two places where the head gas gets blown or uh and my rings are toast because um because of the leak down but i don't know these things this is the first time i'm ever doing this but pretty cool <clears throat> this is honestly the first time i've ever taken off the core radiators core radiator support and yeah, this thing is going to be ready to be pulled out soon. I just got some like ground wires uh, and then the harness as well. And really should be it. <clears throat> I hope I'll have to do some research, but we'll see where she gets hung up. That's really it. That was an update for this week. Wish me luck uh, trying to source an engine. And oh. Ooh. brother, ooh. got some parts behind me if you didn't notice. So, peace out. I'll talk to you guys soon.